hi everyone, I'm Rue and I have a question for you and whatever. It's kind of lame though. Ugh, this is pointless. It's all boring. Ugh. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Hey everyone, have you ever been around someone who had a bad attitude? Have you ever had a bad attitude yourself? Our attitude is the way we talk, act, and respond to other people. And it makes a huge difference, like you just saw. This week, Bowie's going to see just how much of a difference his attitude makes in The Source. Let's watch what happens. Hey, Trix, I have a question. Everyone stop what you're doing. <laughs> um, no. Fine. Then I guess you don't want to hear my really big news. And somehow the world will survive. I want to hear your big news. Thank you, Jesse. Glad some people do. Anyway, so I just found out what they're doing for the fall musical. <laughs> I didn't know you were interested in theater. Why do you think I have so many disguises? Theater's so much fun. The stage, the lights, the songs. Have you tried out before? Every year. But I never get cast. That's actually surprising. I know! But this year, they're doing a musical I was born to be in. Spying in a Snowstorm. The story of Master of Disguise, Dexter Cross. Boy, this is the part you were born to play. I know! I'm so gonna destroy the competition. Plus, think of the disguises. <laughs> but can you sing and dance and stuff? Can I sing and dance? Can I sing and dance? Watch this! <laughs> this is my time. This is my year. I'm gonna face all my fear. I'm gonna tap my way to the top. Boo! Does this happen a lot? I'd like to say no, but unfortunately it happens all the time. I'm gonna be a star. I'm gonna be someone that everyone wants to be. Bowie, you still have to audition. Easy peasy. When I audition, the role will be mine. I'm gonna be a star. <laughs> okay, you're new here, so I'm gonna let you in on something. I have a feeling this will not end well. We have to put everything together for the new issue. Now I want to focus on the new students and what fears they may have. You guys have been at this school. You know the ins, you know the outs. Okay, cool. So you want us to write like a tour guide issue to let students know what to expect this year? Exactly. Now I already have Gabby on an assignment interviewing the incoming students and Bowie can make a fun guidebook of the school. Uh, where is Bowie? I don't know. I haven't seen him all day. Uh, I think he's in the auditorium. He finds out today if he got the part for the musical. Mm. Uh, Bowie. You okay? No. My world has ended. What's wrong? I didn't get the lead role in Spying in a Snowstorm. But did you get a part? Yeah, um, but now I'm just a member of some weird French word. Ensemble. I think you mean ensemble. Yeah, that, that thing. Yeah. Bowie, don't let the disappointment keep you down. But I'm not good at anything, Miss Maine. Somebody tell me what's happening. Drama. It happens a lot in here. Dude, you still got a part. That, that's great. Oh, Jesse, you don't get it. You're good at everything. Mm, I mean, I can't disagree with that. <clears throat> Not helping. I'm just being realistic. Well, you're making him feel worse. Okay, Bowie, it is just a disappointment. It is not the end of the world. You will have so many more opportunities. You don't get it. You don't even care. Nobody does. 
You don't understand my pain. Welcome to the source. Welcome back, everybody. Our attitudes make such a big difference. Remember, your attitude is the way you talk, act, and respond to others. A good attitude can make anything fun and interesting. A bad attitude can make anything frustrating and difficult. This isn't new either. Good and bad attitudes have been around since the world began. In the book of Exodus, in the Bible, there's a story that's thousands of years old about a time a whole country of people called the Israelites had a really bad attitude. The Israelites were walking. And walking. And walking and walking. They were walking through a desert. God had just set them free from the land of Egypt, where they were forced to work super hard for the Egyptians. The people were happy to be free at first, but then it felt like they had to walk forever. They started to complain. Are we there yet? I'm hungry. Oh, I wish we were back in Egypt. Their attitude was so bad, they forgot all about what God did for them. But because God loved them, he decided to help them out again. <gasps> What's this? Why is there bread on this plant? God sent them something called manna, which is a little like thin bread. It would form on the plants each night, so they had enough food for the next day. Amazing, right? The people thought so too, but then they complained again. Ugh, I'm tired of manna. I miss ice cream. Ugh, I want something else to eat. The people kind of threw a tantrum. They demanded that God give them something else to eat. The people argued and complained and were super ungrateful for God's help until one day, God led them into an amazing land. <gasps> It was beautiful. There was food for everyone, beautiful trees, water, and everything they could ever need. And can you guess what the people did? Yup, they complained. They actually wished they were back in the desert. At first, a few people complained. Ooh, there are other people living here and I'm scared of them. Then more. I wish we were back in the desert. And then almost everyone shared their bad attitude. Ugh, 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 I don't want to live here. Attitudes are contagious. Have you seen the difference it makes when someone has a bad attitude? Uh, yeah, like Sharon. She even complained about eating ice cream the other day. It made me sad. Someone with a bad attitude complains about having dinner, argues about playing a game, throws a fit about going outside or about coming inside. It doesn't matter where they are or what's going on, a bad attitude makes it less fun. That's kind of what Bowie's attitude is doing to the source team. Just one person's attitude can change the whole team. Sadly, all of us probably do that too sometimes. When we have bad attitudes, it brings down the people around us. The good news is a good attitude though can make just as big of a difference as a bad one. A good attitude makes everything better. I love being around people with good attitudes. When we have a good attitude, others will love being around us more too. Remember, a good friend has a good attitude. Let's see if Bowie's bad attitude sticks around or if he finds a way to change it. So I see you've decided to join us today. I got nowhere else to go. I hope you have a better attitude than you did yesterday. I'm gonna try. This is my happy place. All right, everyone. We really need to get cooking on this new issue if we're gonna meet our deadline. Trixie, how is that map coming? Almost done. I'll have the graphics to you by tomorrow. <sighs> Excellent. And Jesse, you have everything? Yeah. I did a list of all the teachers you can't mess around with. Um, it's not what I'm looking for. But it's a great idea. Students will know what classes they have to be cool in. Students should be cool in every class. Work on another angle. Okay, Miss Main. Okay, Miss Main. Bowie, 
Do you have something to add? Just my amazing presence. Bowie, I'm picking up on an attitude, and that will not fly here. What attitude? Just being funny. Guess I can't even do that. You can be funny, but right now you're being disrespectful. You need to start spending time helping us come up with this issue. It's not joke time. Well, when is it joke time? How about detention, if you don't get yourself together? Mr. Corbin would never do that. I'm not Mr. Corbin. I will see you today after school. Dude, that was so harsh. I totally underestimated you. I'm totally adding Miss May to the list. But we, what is wrong with you? I thought you were gonna be cool. I'm not cool, Trixie. I've never been cool. Okay, well, at least you were nice. Now you're just being mean. And Miss Maine is a great teacher. You're totally disrespecting her. You're better than this, Bowie. Bowie, glad you're on time. Sit down and write out this topic. Okay. What does a bad attitude cause? 500 words and when you're done, you can leave. Miss Mayna, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to be disrespectful to you. I understand that, but unfortunately, your words and your attitude have consequences. Finish your essay. Bowie, put down your pen for a second. Now, I haven't known you for a very long time, but your behavior this past week hasn't seemed like you. Are you okay? Yeah, um, I'm fine. It's just uh, been a hard week. Um, I really wanted that part. You caused all this chaos because you wanted a part in a play? Bowie, help me understand that. I'm not good at a lot of things, Miss Maine. <laughs> this, was, this was my only chance to shine. Bowie, that is not true in the slightest. You are a great writer. A good friend, you're funny, you have a lot of potential. Okay, but, but that's it. That's the only thing I have to show for it. I, I'm not an athlete like Jesse. I'm, I don't win awards like Trixie. I don't know a lot of people like Gabby. I'm just Bowie the goofball. Okay, you can do this, Veronica. You have wisdom. Bowie, did I ever tell you that once I got fired from my first job? Really? But you're like a big time news anchor. <laughs> Not when I was younger. Back then I had no clue what I was doing. It was my first shot on TV and I read the wrong news story. You did? Oh yeah. I was supposed to do a story on stray dogs and I did a story on hot dogs. Ooh. Yep. I was so nervous and I messed up every line. Pretty sure I invented a new word for failure. Okay, but you got really good. Yeah, after a lot of hard work. But back then I was cut from everything and I definitely didn't get a part in a school play. So what changed? Well, my attitude did. I was determined that I was going to do better. So I would practice. I would do as much as I could when no one was looking. I'd stand in front of the mirror and I'd read restaurant menus. You did what? I read restaurant menus. I knew every item at Captain Flubber's Fish and Chips. <laughs> Why? Because I realized that my attitude affected everything. A bad attitude not only hurt me, but it hurt my friendships. And a good attitude, well, a good attitude helped me overcome obstacles, made me a better friend. A good attitude helped me become who I was meant to be. I have no clue who I am. You will. Just keep trying and don't give up. 
trust me. If your attitude is good when things are bad, then you'll be great when things are good. Thanks, Miss Main. You really think so? I do. I wouldn't have said it if I didn't. I don't really waste words. Speaking of, I think you got about 400 words left to go. Right. Hey everyone! Today we heard how the Israelites' bad attitude brought them down, no matter how much God did for them. We saw how Bowie's bad attitude about the musical hurt his friendships too. I'm so glad Bowie could turn his attitude around. Sometimes all of us need to check what our attitude is. That's your challenge for this week. Check your attitude. You can start right now. Think about how you respond when something happens. When my friends want to do something I don't really want to do, how do I respond? Do I say, oh, that's boring, I don't want to. Or do I say, I can give that a try, that might be fun. When I don't get something I want at home, how do I respond? Ugh, I'm so mad I never get what I want. Or, I'm so thankful for the things that I have. It's a-okay if I don't get what I want this time. See the difference? How could this week be different if you choose to have a good attitude? It's your challenge to find out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week.